Hey Capricorn, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with your past life love reading. And so this would be um, a reading of how you met your past life soulmate in another lifetime. And I only really feel and see one energy here and a lot of fantasy when it comes down to a future with you. So I'm curious as to know because your energy isn't here. I feel like it's the outside energy and how they feel about you and whatever interaction, no matter how big or small, as they have crossed paths with you. Whoever this individual is, they are extremely or they were in this lifetime that we're speaking of. And you might catch me talking in present tense and it's because, you know, I'm used to doing readings that speaking more to the present or the future. But in this reading, of course, we're talking about a past life. So just keep that in mind, even if I do slip up and say something like is instead of was. OK. All right. So this person was extremely protective over you is what I'm seeing here. I feel like there wasn't much knowledge as it pertained to the Akashic Records and what past lives were in this lifetime as it pertains to you and this individual. You guys could have just been, you know, mundane, everyday, hardworking people because I'm definitely seeing like a lot of prosperity and hard work and creativity being put into someone's life to be able to cultivate wealth. But what I am seeing most of all is that this person was putting in a lot of work to grow themselves, to elevate, to do better in life, to have um, a different type of status and a reputation, reputation or level of respect in order to be able to build a life of luxury with you. Um, this is the life that this person envisioned with you. And as the bottom of the deck is having it here, it's allowing me to get a little bit more insight as to you know what it was that was holding you guys back because i was kind of wondering but at the end of the day like y'all know like i always say the bottom of the deck is the why for me and with the lookout here and if you can see it's like a ship that's on fire it's a lot of conflict it's basically somebody at war and then it's somebody here with binoculars that's looking out so at this time you know this could have been somebody that you actually met and they was in a relationship or vice versa. But um, I do feel like at this time, the relationships are come to like all the conflict and drama and fighting, arguing, war, whatever was going on between the two. And I feel like it was divinely guided to do so. I feel like the reason why this person was feeling led to you, Capricorn, was because um, they took on a soul initiation without even knowing. There was something about their interaction with you that awakened something within them, whether it was their kundalini, their third eye, um, their root chakra. Um, you could definitely be a gatekeeper or a light, like basically somebody that shows somebody or illuminates someone's true path when it comes down to their work here. You know, because I see this person like wanting to plant seeds and really be focused. And so you could have really um, inspired something within them to become more focused. You could already be in this architect energy, you know, and maybe this person spent some time around you and they wanted to like basically match this energy. But I feel like this person felt initiated and they didn't know quite why is what i'm getting because with the akashic record library or the akashic library being in reverse this person didn't truly know you know like i don't know why i feel led to this person like they didn't have any insight as it pertained to what they were meant to do with you but they felt led and i feel like they took her out so if this person was in a difficult relationship they um they took the limbs to actually end that relationship or that relationship naturally collapsed because it was way too much conflict there. And they traveled towards a connection or wanting to grow themselves to prepare for a connection with you. If you could see this person, they looking back and they see that a path is now blocked off to them. But it's like this person is confident, even if they don't know what the outcome is, they feel led, they feel drawn with this initiation here. Okay, 
And so this person may be moving for work or moving to just make a better name for themselves because this person is hoping to either join you in this energy of lavishness and um, structure that you are already gaining for yourself or they want to provide this for you if you, did, if, you, if you didn't already have this for yourself then their fantasy was to be able to provide this life for you and this could have been anything like real estate in general in this lifetime the lifetime that we speaking on which is a past lifetime this person wanted to provide you with a kingdom um i feel like this person was extra protective over you like this because this person had had dreams about children spirit children that were in the ethers basically being protected by archangel michael that are waiting to be birthed into this world by you now either you guys were meant to have um a boy and girl twins or you guys were meant to have um children that were born like maybe within a year or two within each other because i keep getting this energy of um like a boy and girl but they're not that far apart in age okay so this is why this person was so overprotective of you i'm also getting that there could have been an energy here where um a lot of this conflict with this lookout at the bottom of the deck being in reverse it could have been caused because if this person was already in a difficult situation, then a lot of the arguments that was taking place could have been about how this person felt about you and how protective they were over you. Yeah, I'm getting the willow. So this person just knew that they were supposed to plant seeds with you in hopes, yeah, faded meeting. They felt like they felt a special connection with you, Capricorn. So, um, you know, I don't know who you would be. Or if this person, if you and this person already crossed paths in this lifetime, y'all might not have. But if you guys have, I don't know who you are in this lifetime. If you the masculine energy or the feminine energy. But yeah, I definitely feel like somebody, um, they either had dreams, premonitions, deja vu of um, having a family with you in a past life. Y'all have the world card. So this person definitely um, traveled. They could have traveled in like the early stages of spring or autumn. Here is what I'm seeing. Or you guys could have met in spring or autumn. But this person essentially, this is symbolic of this person basically moving mountains for you. And this person had to remove snakes out of their life. So it could have been people that was like opposing or naysaying to this connection. Why is the Akashic Library in reverse? Yeah, because this person, they didn't know why, but you made them so happy. And you could have been the type that was, like, rejecting them because, of course, like I said, they was coming up as somebody that was in a relationship. But you, they got their emotional fulfillment from being around you. But they didn't understand why they felt such a connection to you. But it's because you guys had children. Y'all had a life and another lifetime outside of this one. And this person felt that pull, that magnetic pull towards you because, again, they, they got some type of indication of this past life. And it made them feel like home. Why is Archangel Michael here? You have the lovers. This person definitely was defending you against somebody else. Like they may, you know, somebody could have even been feeling like insecure. You see how somebody covering themselves up because this person, like they could tell that this person felt more connected to you because they were super overprotective of this connection. But this person felt and knew that they were meant to have you know, like I said, either um, a set of twins or a boy and a girl, okay? So this person definitely was trying to get themselves grounded here because I feel like they was in a position where they really couldn't leave that situation upon um, leaving this individual. They felt like they needed to be in a better financial situation so they could have stuck around in that situation while they built themselves up or they could even be wanting to be you know single for a little while so that they can gain a sense of autonomy because i do feel like this person cares about what you think about them capricorn why is initiation here i mean this is this person like not knowing nothing about past lives but feeling that energy y'all exactly with the uh high priestess here this person's intuition was telling them to come towards you and they trusted that yes the chariot in reverse it's like something that they thought was going to go the distance. It's like it ended. A lot of um, conflict started being created because it was divinely meant to be that way so that this person can move towards you. Okay, why is the architect here? 
This is that person wanting that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you could have been trying to cut this person off. And so maybe that's the reason why this person felt led to it. Led to, like I said, fixing themselves. But it's like, oh, or this is the person that they ended stuff with. Yeah, this person, the person that they leaving behind could have been somebody that was like emasculating here. Because I'm definitely seeing that this is the Queen of Swords and somebody's cojones is being chopped to smithereens, okay? And with the sun being in reverse here, it's just making me feel like this person drained this individual. Like this was a situation that was very in and out, up and down, makeup to break up. They could have had a child with this person. I feel like this person just was like a resting bitch. Yeah, this person gained some type of insight. Okay, again, it could have definitely been through like thought or daydream, um, reoccurring daydream, reoccurring dreams about the, these children here. And I feel like... um. This is a situation where they didn't want to put you in a third party situation. And again, a lot of conflict was caused here. But I feel like they was with somebody that either couldn't take care of themselves. Like they was in a codependent relationship that had a lot of like drama attached. And like I said, it was very depressing. Again, this person found out who they were to you through the dream state. They did. Their ancestors sent them all type of signs like this is your person. Stop investing in this other situation and come towards this. So that's how they knew you guys had a soul contract because they had three ancestors that were conspiring to deliver this message, like implant a child here. Yes, this is your wife. Queen of Pentacles, that's you. And the Knight of Wands. So, I mean, I'm sorry. Yes, and the Knight of Wands. So they were feeling, or Page of Wands, yeah. That's the Page of Wands, yeah. So this person was felt, felt compelled to... Um, reproduce and start a legacy with you is what i'm seeing so it could have been flirtation there they saw you as this like warm individual somebody that's very resourceful grounded calm especially compared to this other energy where they feel like they had to battle and where this person just has this kind of defensive stand which i was kind of getting from the lookout being in reverse too is that this person was tired of being defensive against their own lover all right, so we're going to go one more round just because I laid the first round down before I got on camera. So we do got time down. We only 12 minutes in. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, though. I'm not going to lie. All right. It's just like, again, if this person could have just minorly flirted with you or they could have tried over and over. You know, but you might not have understood why this person kept approaching you, but it's really because they are feeling led and guided by the Holy Spirit to come towards you. Yeah, the snake. There was definitely somebody here that was in competition. You know, I like you. Yeah, this person wanted to build a world with you. They felt like, you know, the love just continued to grow. Um, and then they started to recognize and realize like how this other toxic situation was kind of holding them back from really truly growing and elevating in the world. Why is this the lovers here? This person protected this connection. Yeah, they felt like the other individual just, yeah, they wanted to run away from it because they realized that it wasn't a healthy choice for them. It was something about this Queen of Swords energy that, like I said, made them feel emasculated. And it's like this person ran right to you. You know, they could have just met you at a time where it was like they were done. They were done investing in something here. They have started to already pull back their energy and then they came into you. Okay, yeah. So, yes, this person was realizing that this other individual was their karmic. And um, they were missing opportunities. They feel like they was basically putting their life on hold for somebody that wasn't bringing anything into their life but conflict. Making it okay, and that's also, yeah, and this person could have been draining this other individual's finances too, and that's why they didn't feel confident in coming straight to you, telling you how they felt, but they feel like you they twin flame though. That's what they feel like, you know. They feel like you helped them kind of heal from whatever it is that this person did. We get heart with the key, welcoming love. You know, you might not have been so welcoming to this individual again because you already knew that their status was that they was in a complicated connection. You already knew that they was in a complicated situation here. And you didn't want to be a part of that, which a lot of people would opt out of. Whether that was past life, this life, next life. Nobody want to be in a situation where somebody already having a lot of conflict and then they bring it into your peaceful life. 
Yeah, okay, so we are getting dragonfly, which is like, you brought like this lighthearted energy, especially, you know, wherever you guys met, whether it will be church or, you know, whether y'all took the same bus route, worked together, went to school together, however it is that you guys met or, you know, whatever the case is. In this lifetime, y'all probably gonna meet on the internet or something like that. But I feel like you brought like this lighthearted energy to this person's life that they just wasn't being able to gain because everything was so serious here. I feel like the person that they got with needed more healing from other situations outside of their connection with the person that's like uh, wanting to come and be with you or was wanting to come and be with you in this lifetime that we address it. Okay, so why is the page of swords here, spirit? Yeah, okay, so that was a big clump of cards. Let's see, Page of Swords. Let's get one spirit, please. Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. For the Page of Swords. Oh my goodness. The Phoenix. All right, so this just lets me know how secretly this is. This person is moving towards you. Again, they want to elevate their life. They want to transform, reinvent themselves before they come towards you. Because even though you guys had this really lighthearted energy, like they really look up to you. So again, you could be already embodying this energy of the architect, somebody that's already like planning out their life or in a certain field. Maybe this person is interested in the same field. Maybe you inspired them to be interested in that same field and so this person could be fantasizing about having this life having two children building um like they might feel like you got like they like your go-getter energy okay and they even loved it in this back in this day too whenever this is okay all right why is the four of swords here the mirror yeah they do feel like you guys have a lot in common also, I do feel like, again, this story could be very similar in another lifetime, this lifetime, you know, but it's like you guys are each other's self-image, y'all reflect each other's wounds, but y'all also reflect each other's strengths, which for you guys, it makes you guys extremely relatable and compatible, and that could be the reason why, like I said, conflict no, honestly, I feel like they started pulling back from whatever connection they was pulling back from before they crossed paths with you or before they decided that they wanted to try to come into some type of union with you or had this revelation about past life children that you guys had or children that you were meant to have in this past life that we are talking about right now. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here, Spirit? Okay, so yeah, this person definitely feels a sense of unconditional love. They want to take a risk and they are like planning. They were planning, you know, a way they was willing to take a gamble. And I was getting that again because like I said, with the on track here, it's like this person feel like they can't lose. They feel like even if it is a gamble to come towards you, they feel like together you guys can win. So it's a gamble that's worth taking, especially because this person, you taught this person how to love themselves, how not to settle for a situation that was tumultuous, toxic and everything else. How to, you talk to this person, you may, you let this person feel what unconditional love is, okay? And they may not have felt unconditionally loved because they was dealing with somebody that needed to heal their hearts, okay? So, yeah, this person was willing to bring the end to something to birth a new beginning with you. And this person is hoping and praying for, like, growth and transition within y'all connection. Yeah, they blocked out somebody else for you. You might have blocked out them, though, because you could have just been feeling like you just got out of a relationship. I'm not about to be a rebound. So, um, I don't know how this ended up turning out. Uh, Capricorn, this could have been a situation where it took time to come together. But I do feel like this person took time to grow. And it was something that was needed here. So, but this person, you inspired this individual. You inspired this person to love themselves, to get out of a situation that was not serving them. And they may not have recognized it truly, you know, until meeting you. Like, you put some inspiration in this person. Or, like I said, again, they could have been already pulling back their energy. But that could have been divinely guided because you were coming into their life. For some of you, they had dreams about you before you came into their life, okay? But I'm getting genuine. My whole life has changed since you came in. I knew back then you were a special one. 
I'm so in love, so deep in love. So, again, that could be the type of effect or feeling you put on this individual in another lifetime. And when you meet the, them in this one, maybe again, too. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.